It's that time again for some behind the scenes questions. Make sure to post any new questions in the comments and I'll make a part three sometime soon, so let's a go. JRAC wants to know, how did you do that snake thwomp? I recorded myself acting out what would happen if a snake thwomp was actually there, and then I overlaid the thwomp image and moved it accordingly. The editor part was as simple as making a fake editor hand and then adding in these arrows as it moved to look like it does when you do the creeper motion. Butter wants to know, did you make the screech sound in a hot garbage prevention video? Are you sure you want to continue? Note that an awful sound will be made each time you place an additional spike and we've disabled your volume control so there's no way to mute it. Uh, so it's funny, this is the most common comment that I see on this sunny video. Uh, that apparently they that the same screech is from something called BFB. Um, I had never heard of BFB before making the video and tons of comments say that I was using the same screech. I literally just searched on YouTube for a screeching noise and used the first one that I found. HexYT wants to know how I made the custom game styles. Now there's a bunch of them, so I'm just gonna answer this for Hotel Mario. Uh, I just found some footage from the actual game of a playthrough on YouTube, and then I got a screenshot of it, and I removed each enemy and item and separated from them as their own image. This way I could animate the hand, dragging each piece onto where it actually is in the screenshot, and then when I do the play button animation, I just play the actual footage from the game. Francie Paez wants to know, how do you make Mario turn into metal? So first I created this section and acted out as if this mushroom was the metal ball. Then I used a tool in After Effects called the Roto Brush. It allows you to cut out objects from scenes and do various things with them. For this I drew the Roto Brush around Mario and it smartly drew around him each frame. This way I have just Mario movement separated from the video. Once it was separated, I was able to add a metallic effect to only Mario, and then I overlapped the new shiny Mario with the original footage, and there you go. Jack Leslie wants to know how I make my thumbnails. Uh, I make them in Photoshop. For rejected updates, I always start with this, and I add in a few things from the video that I think would be visually appealing to make you interested in what it is. Then I just try to find some kind of unique background texture for the number, for all my other thumbnails, I just try to find a scene from the video that I think will look most interesting as a thumbnail to get people interested to click it. Oh, I love Bruce3000 uh, wants to know how I made the jello pudding in the YTP video. Uh, this is super simple. In Premiere Pro, you can do a color replace. So I just did that on the layer to replace this purple with brown. Stephanie wants to know how I made Luna kill me. Uh, so this was done by recording everything up until the part where I would disappear and then I just stepped up and out of my chair without moving anything. Then I edit the two clips together and add in the Luna sparkling effect. Nintendo Ball Z wants to know what made me start YouTube. Uh, I randomly came across a Ryu Dashi video back in around September of 2018, and then I bought the game shortly after. Then a little bit after that, I decided I wanted to try recording my own videos, so I bought a capture card and did that. My first video is pretty bad, but if you want to laugh or if you want to fall asleep, I'd highly recommend it. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number one. I'm Danny B. Gonna play some Super Mario Maker for you. M. Olive wants to know how did you do the must die to clear clear condition? So first, I created a one coin clear condition and recorded the flag as it is before, and then after the clear condition is achieved, then I recorded myself on the left side hitting a spike and dying. Then I just synced the two shots together so that when the death animation started, the flagpole would be activated. Blue Guy wants to know how I did the eight-sided skewer. This is pretty simple. Uh, anything in New Super Mario Bros. U, you can take the air background and overlay a bunch of green semi-solids and it makes a green screen, which is just like they do in the movies. And so I did that with the skewer motion and then just rotated eight of them basically into the proper way and had them all animate together. Crystal wants to know how I did the Sniper Bros in the Rejected Updates number one video. Uh, well, super, for Super Mario World and Super Mario 1, it was just animating sprites, so that's easy. But for the 3D World version, I used a similar technique that I did for Metal Mario, where I grabbed the footage of an actual Hammer Bro throwing a hammer, and once I had it by itself, I colored it to have the black clothing. Then I was able to superimpose them in layers onto real footage of me jumping, and then animated in some fake hammers. 
Kevin Jackson wants to know how I did the Mario Odyssey style and rejected updates. Uh, this is similar to how I did the Hotel Mario. I just grabbed a screenshot from the actual game, removed each piece and separated them into their own layer. Then I just animated the hand to move the pieces into place and just played the actual footage. TBIL Television wants to know how I did the thwomp move to the camera to cover the whole screen. Uh, so the thwomp is overlaid on top of real footage and then I looked up a tutorial for how to make a shattered glass effect in After Effects and there you go. YKHP Edits asks, what is your favorite video that you made? I would say probably this video because it was on my old computer which was very slow and crashed a few times making this which ended up taking me around 30 hours total and even though there are some imperfections, I just love how silly and stupid it is. Sonia Jamil wants to know, how do you make all the audio clips for the enemies when they say nice when you get the nice coin? Nice! nice. Uh, so in this video, I really just recorded myself with a couple of different sort of ac accents and inflections, and I changed the audio pitch and blended them all together. So it sounded like a couple of different things. Among Us YT says, how did you make Goomba Mario? Uh, I really just got a Goomba sprite and added a few pieces and colors from the Mario sprite, and then I animated a fake walking Goomba over various backgrounds. Zelda Bird asks, uh, have I ever had Joy-Con drift, and what was the hardest video to edit? Which one do I think came out the best? Uh, I get drift sometimes, but it doesn't really bother me. The Bowser's Fury series are, were all very hard to edit. They all took me two weeks total to make, working two to three hours each night. They were mainly hard because I had to take a 3D game and recreate it in 2D using some existing things from Mario Maker and also some custom things I had to create on my own. And I had never done a video where the entire thing is animated with no actual gameplay footage, so that was an extra challenge as well. As for the one that came out the best, I really love this uh, Mar well, Mario vs. Editor, or Mario vs. Maker is what this used to be called, now it's called uh, Mar Mario Fights Back Against the Editor. This is may this might be my favorite one, just because I think it's really fun watching the editor get destroyed and stuff like that, like I think it just looks really cool. D. O'Connor wants to know, how did you do the Mario vs. the Maker? Uh, I renamed this actually uh, shortly after to Mario Fights Back Against the Editor just because I wanted to make the name sound a little more interesting. Um, but uh, I recreated the level in Photoshop and broke it apart piece by piece based on what pieces I knew were going to be moved or destroyed during the fight, including the left panel. Then I just animated it all together. Yes, I do use Premiere Pro for animation, but no, it is really not the ideal program to make animated movies. The better program is Adobe Animate. William West asks, would you ever consider a holiday special? And I would consider it if I had a good enough idea, though I prefer videos that have some kind of funny twist, so I likely wouldn't do a really wholesome video of Mario just giving out gifts like Santa. Even though Level Up did that video and it was great, it's just not really the style for my channel, so I'd have to do some thinking. Well, thank you so much to everyone who posted questions. Keep on posting them, and I'll do another one of these videos in a few months with a bunch more questions answered.